With the rise of electric vehicles, the automotive industry is undergoing a revolution. In a matter of decades, if not sooner, the way cars are powered, manufactured, and driven will be changed forever. While many welcome this change, seeing it as part of a larger movement to combat climate change and make modern lifestyles more sustainable, it is a challenge for iconic brands like Porsche. For brands like these, expectations are at an all-time high. Consumers expect the same performance levels while demanding better environmental friendliness. The only problem is that the kind of performance that Porsche users expect is only possible with traditional internal combustion engines. But that is not good for the environment. The automaker giant has a unique solution to the problem. Some experts are now claiming that Porsche's new six-stroke engine will end the EV industry. So, what is this all about? Let's find out. Porsche's new direction under CEO Oliver Bloom. It has almost been a decade since Oliver Bloom took charge of Porsche, and to say that he has brought changes would be a massive understatement. Before filling this prestigious position in October 2015, Bloom worked with Audi, Seat, and Volkswagen. His leadership style emphasizes sustainability, innovation, and robust crisis management, which became evident during critical periods like the global pandemic and the company's pivot toward electromobility. However, he has also been confronted with a particularly seismic challenge. Navigating the automotive industry's shift toward electric vehicles is not easy, but he has risen to the challenge. And under his leadership, Porsche launched the Taycan, the brand's first fully electric car, in late 2019. This move marked a bold step in Porsche's commitment to sustainability and environmental responsibility. By 2030, Bloom aims for more than 80% of all Porsche vehicles sold to be fully electric or plug-in hybrids. But he has not given up on internal combustion engines either. Bloom is playing this game both ways and wants to see what picks up first. One thing is for sure though, their new six-stroke engine is revolutionary. Before we move on to that, let's get some context first. Sales figures under Bloom's leadership have reflected his strategic direction. In 2022, Porsche delivered 309, 884 vehicles worldwide. This was an increase of 3% compared to the previous year. The Taycan itself saw impressive sales growth, solidifying its position as a core part of Porsche's portfolio. Despite global supply chain disruptions and the pandemic, Porsche's performance demonstrated resilience. Bloom's focus on sustainability extends beyond vehicles to operational processes, emphasizing localizing supply chains, reducing logistical complexity, and integrating environmental and social criteria into supplier evaluations. Under his leadership, Porsche also underwent a historic IPO in September 2022, raising over 9 billion euros. This move was intended to give the brand greater financial autonomy while supporting its ambitious development plans. Speaking of development plans, Porsche has unveiled something big, Porsche's six-stroke engine. Before delving into Porsche's bold engineering innovation, Let's take a step back to appreciate the principles of a traditional combustion engine, a technology that has powered most vehicles for over a century. The classic four-stroke engine follows a systematic cycle, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. In the intake phase, a mixture of air and fuel is drawn into the cylinder. This is followed by the compression stroke, which packs the mixture tightly to prepare it for ignition. The power stroke then ignites the mixture with a spark forcing the piston downward and generating energy to propel the car. Finally, the exhaust stroke expels the burnt gases. This intricate yet efficient sequence has long been the backbone of petrol-powered vehicles, delivering the visceral thrill and raw performance cherished by driving enthusiasts. But this approach is going extinct in the face of electrification. Porsche's response? Make a more efficient and sustainable version of the traditional internal combustion engine that will help minimize emissions while maintaining the level of performance we all love. This brings us to the revolutionary six-stroke engine design. This concept adds two new stages to the classic cycle. Building upon the standard four strokes, Porsche's innovative engine incorporates a second compression and an additional power stroke. These extra steps amplify efficiency and performance. The core of this system lies in its specially designed crankshaft. It features a dual concentric circle arrangement that enables varying stroke lengths, allowing pistons to achieve two distinct bottom dead center positions. That's where Porsche's investment in e-fuels and the potential development of a six-stroke engine come in. Whether the six-stroke engine becomes a reality for the 911 remains uncertain. It may debut in the next generation post-992, 
or Porsche might choose to extend the life of the flat six for as long as possible. What's clear, though, is that Porsche's resolve to preserve the petrol-powered 911 is about more than tradition, it's a statement. It reflects a profound understanding of what enthusiasts value, the visceral thrill of a roaring engine. The Porsche efficient internal combustion engine reimagines the classic sequence of intake, compression, power, and exhaust by adding a second set of compression and power phases, effectively creating intake, compression, power, compression, power, exhaust. This aims to increase energy extraction from each fuel cycle, improving efficiency and reducing emissions. At its core, the engine features an inline six-cylinder design with direct fuel injection for precision control of the air-fuel mixture, ensuring optimal combustion under various operating conditions. Advanced turbocharging further boosts performance by supplying the engine with compressed air for enhanced power without significantly increasing engine size or weight. The incorporation of hybrid technology allows the engine to synergize with electric motors offering reduced emissions during low-speed operation and improved efficiency at high speeds. From a performance standpoint, this novel architecture minimizes piston travel distances, reducing mechanical stress and energy losses. Additionally, the engine features two distinct dead centers at the top and bottom of the piston stroke, enhancing combustion chamber dynamics for better thermal efficiency. Such innovations position this engine as a strong competitor to electric vehicles by achieving lower emissions and improved fuel economy while retaining the driving experience enthusiasts love. In terms of emissions control, the engine's hybrid integration supports start-stop functionality and regenerative braking, contributing to its ability to meet stringent global environmental standards. Its modular design also allows for adaptability to various vehicle models. This technological leap shows that advanced internal combustion engines will coexist with EVs in the transition to a greener future. They may even take the lead if Porsche is successful. But what about conserving the environment? Porsche intends to ensure top-notch performance and environmental friendliness. Porsche is charting a revolutionary path to balance peak performance with environmental sustainability through its advanced, efficient internal combustion engine. By combining cutting-edge engineering with hybrid technology and synthetic fuel integration, Plus, older used EVs don't have the range of newer ones, which can be a bummer. Then there's range anxiety. It's like when your phone's at 1% and you're nowhere near a charger. Stressful, right? Cold weather makes it worse. It drains battery range fast. And when it comes to choice, there still aren't that many EV models compared to gas cars. If you're dreaming of an electric truck or minivan, you might have to wait longer. Finding a mechanic who can actually fix your EV is another hurdle. Sure, they need less maintenance, but when they do, especially for something big like a battery pack, it can cost a fortune. And don't get me started on charging stations. Imagine being on a road trip and not finding a place to charge. Talk about a buzzkill. The government is investing billions into expanding networks, but for now, it's still hit or miss. Even fast chargers can't yet compete with filling up a gas tank. 